Type Form is a fantastic website. It's also available as an app on Google Play. Um, but I would advise the um, website because the app's a light version. So basically, when you've logged in or registered, you'll get to this page, and this is your workspace. You can actually have lots of different workspaces, maybe if you want personal separated from educational. Um, and this is where you create your new um, quiz or um, questionnaire or test. These are the ones you might have already done. And then here you can actually add users so you can work on um, some of the type forms together with friends. So let's create a new one. And you can either start from scratch or use a template. I'm going to start from scratch, just call it test, and then start building. And the really nice thing about Typeform is it's drag and drop, um, so it's really, really easy to use um, and create a great quiz. So here we are. Get the welcome screen first of all. And just drag it over um, to this, which is your form. And then you can just put welcome to the quiz or welcome a bit of information. So I just type in welcome to the quiz. There we are. Um, just keep it simple. Let's press save. It's got a nice little start button as well. And then all you have to do is drag and drop questions here. So you can choose from a different range of um, question. Um, so let's just show you a few. So just short text. So the put the question name in here. So this one, what is your favorite color? You can put a description in if you want to give them a hint or something like that. And you can um, put the maximum amount of characters so they can't um, put too much information in. You can put images and videos in. Um, which are really nice as well, maybe a nice art palette for this one. And then you can say whether it's required, so they won't be able to skip it. When you're happy, press save. Um, let's have a look. The long text is pretty much the same as the short text, but obviously a bit longer. Um, you can put in some statements, so it's like commands, like you are now on the next section. Um, let's try a drop-down menu. So put in your questions. Um, and then this time you can add some variables, um, which are really nice. So let's have this one. Uh, what is your favorite pet? And then you add your choices. So dog, cat, hamster, other. Again, you can put a description, an image in, if you want, up to you. We need eight choices. Okay, I'll just put eight. Okay, and we'll see how these all work at the end. Um, you can put an email, um, if you would like someone to email you. Put the date in, put a legal notice in. Um, th these are all... Um, added extras I don't usually use that much. The main ones I use is the short and long text and the multiple choice. Um, really, really good. Um, so you put in your question and then let's do one. So, um, how old are you? And for this one, put um, seven. I'm going to add another one, just click there, eight. Add another one. Nine. Oops. Nine. Let's press. Let's make that required. That's if you want to select more than one. Um, it will randomize it for you as well. And then it will look like this when it's in the quiz. Um, you've got picture choices, which is the same as multiple choice, but you um, just click on the picture. Um, we've got a question group. Yes or no answers. Um, you can rate. So let's rate this quiz. So let's go and rate the quiz. And then for this one, you can add the amount of stars you get. So about 10 maybe. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then you choose whatever you like. Maybe thumbs up would be nice. 
let's save that one. Okay, so that's the main things. Um, there's other ones like opinion scale, and you can actually upload your own files as well. And then finally, there's a thank you sc screen, which is um, basically a thank you for completing the quiz. So let's view the type form. It saves automatically, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. And this is what, um, when the type form's emailed out, um, this is what people will see. So here's welcome to the quiz. Click start. What's your favourite colour? Blue. And it just looks really nice. I mean, it's really simple. Um, that's my drop down, so it gives me options. How old am I? Nine. And I'm going to rate the quiz eight. And then submit. When someone submits it, it emails you as the owner straight away, uh, which is great. So, after you've done that, so when you're happy with it, um, just go along these. So you can change the design. So let's have a look at what we can do. So this is where you can change the colours, what you want it to look like. You can change fonts, and you can even put a background image. Um, the theme at the bottom um, does it all for you, um, which is quite a nice thing as well. The next one, configure. So this is handy as well. It's just extra um, settings. So if we go to general, just you can change the name. Um, you can change if it's a private one or a public one. Um, unless you pay for it, you need the branding of type form on. It's got some other things there. Um, the other really important things is self notifications. If you're sending it out to a lot of students, you might not want an email for each submission, or you might want to know when they um, submit it. So you can choose these ones as well. This is the progress widget here, and that will basically tell people um, how they're getting on in the um, quiz, how much they've completed. Now, the share buttons, this is really important. This is basically who you share it with. So you can either um, copy and paste the um, type form URL and then um, send it to people by email or however you want to send it. If they get a um, the link, then they, even if it's private, they can have that. Or you can um, share it on social media. So I, I usually put it on the Google Classroom, the link. And then analyze. This is where it tells you all the results. Um, and obviously we've had no results in for this one, but it's really good. You know, you can see which questions, if it's a test, um, children got right, which ones they didn't get right. Um, it'll do reports um, and results as well. So that's Typeform, a really, really um, useful way of um, doing quizzes, questionnaires and tests. Thank you.